Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now I am going to explain the examples of Chapter Seven, AVR microcontroller. So example seven one is write an AVR C program to send values zero zero to FF on pole B. So we have to given the values from zero zero to two fifty five on pole B. So we have to initialize pole B as an output. Here I am using the unsigned character Z, and then I declare the DDR B zero access FF means I am declaring the pole B as an output. Now I am going to Use the for loop from z equals to zero to less less than two fifty five. Yeah, means zero to two fifty five, and then increment with plus one. Then I am giving the uh, value of z on port B, and then return. It simply gives the value from zero to two fifty five on port B. Our next example is write an AVR C program to send hex values for ASCII characters. Means uh, ASCII characters is given. Now we have to show the values of these ascii characters in hex values on our port so here i am using the unsigned character array and array name is my list and our array is 0 1 2 3 4 5 a b c and d i have to show the hex values of these characters so that's why i am using the unsigned character z and then i am declaring the port b as an output and then i am going to use the for loop From z equals to zero to z equals to ten because my array size is ten, so I am using the for loop from zero to less than ten with increment one, and then on port b I am giving the values of this array z means first array element is shown on the port b, then second element, then third element, and so on up to d, and the hex values of these ASCII characters. Will show on port B. This is our example two. And our example three is write an AVRC program to toggle all the bits of port B two hundred times. Means we have to toggle the bits of port B two hundred times. So I am declaring the port B as an output, and I am giving the port B value of zero x a a. Means I am giving the port B is one zero one zero one zero one zero, and then I am using the unsigned character z. And then I'm going to use the for loop from zero to two hundred because I am going to toggle the port B two hundred times. So this is my for loop size. Then I am going to use the port B equals to. You see this sign is the negation means I am toggling the port B inputs. So whatever is present on port B, this going is going to toggle for two hundred times in for loop. So this is our example seven three. Our next example is write an AVR C program to send values of minus four to plus four on port B. So here the decimal values are given from minus four to plus four on A on port B. I am going to use the hex values of these decimal values. So that's why I am going to use the array from minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, and plus four. This is our array. And then I'm going to use the unsigned character. Now I'm going to declare the port B as an output, and then I'm going to use the for loop because we have array. So I'm going to show the hex values of these decimal values on port B one by one. So I'm going to declare the port B equals to my num, which is array, and then in the brackets z. In every for loop, z increments from zero, one, two, three. And similarly, one by one, my array will appear on the port B. So this is our example four. Our next example is write an AVR C program to toggle all bits of port B fifty thousand times. This is this example is same as we have done before. Now we are going to toggle the port B fifty thousand times, not two fifty five, as previous we have done for two fifty five times. So As same, I am declaring the port B as an output. Then for loop from z equals to zero to z less than fifty thousand, and increment with one. Then I am going to declare the port B equals to zero x fifty five, and then zero x a a. This is also the method of toggling the port B, and then while one. Next example is write an AVR C program to toggle bits of port B one lakh times. Now the previous code remains same. We only set the for loop from zero equals to zero to le less than one lakh. 
the rest remains the same our next example is write an avi c program to toggle all the bits of port b continuously with a 100 millisecond delay assume that system is at mega 32 with crystal value 8 megahertz now we are going to toggle the bits of port b with a delay not continuous so for this i am going to use the for loop and here I have used declared the delay function void unsigned integer i from z i equals to 0 to 40,150 with increment of 1. In the main function, I am declaring the port b as an output. Then I am going to port b equals to 0 x a a. First, my input is 101010. Then, after that, I have to use the delay function because I am going to toggle the port b with a delay and after that i am going to toggle port b which is 0x55 now my port b is 010101 and after that i am going to use the delay function then here i am toggling the port b with a delay of 100 millisecond next example is write an avrc program to toggle all the bits pins of port c continuously with a 10 millisecond delay in previous example we have used the 100 millisecond delay now i am going to use the 10 millisecond delay and here our port c is used as an output so in the main function i have declared the delay function in microseconds and after that i am declaring the port b as an output and similarly in previous code first i am going to declare the port b as 0x ff then the delay function and then port b equals to 0x55 means 010101 and then the delay function of 10 millisecond this will going to toggle the port b with a delay of 10 milliseconds next example is leds are connected to pins for of port b Write an AVRC program that shows the count from 0 to FFH in binary on the LEDs. Means that I have used, connected the 8 LEDs to port B and I am going to show the binary from 0 to FFH on these port B LEDs. Means when 0 is present then our LEDs all are off. Then one, then our only first bit LED will on means zero 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 one means the last LED will only blinks. So for this, I am going to use the port B as an output connected with the LED, and after that I am going to use the port B equals to port B plus one. Then return means whenever our previous port B, our next port B will be incremented with one one means when port b is 0 then 0 will here and then after the loop our port b will become port b plus 1 means 1 plus 1 which is going to 2 and then again loop with now our port b is 2 plus 1 now port b will be 3 and similarly leds will blend from 0 to ff 0 0 0 0, 0 to all 1 and this will going to show then our next example is write an AVRC program to get a byte of data from port B and then send it to port C means in this example we are going to take input from one port and we have to show the output on the other port so we are going to use the port B as an input that's why I am going to declare the DDRB 0x00 and the port B as an output so that's why I am declaring the DRC as an 0xff then I am using the temporary variable to store the value which is entered from pin B and then whatever the present on temporary then I am going to set it to port C because we are going to show the output on port C and then the return this is our example 710 in 7.11 write an AVRC program to get a byte of data from port C if it is less than 100 send it to port b otherwise send it to port d means we are going to take input from port c and then we are going to check whether the input is whether 
the input is less than 100 or greater than 100 if the input will be less than 100 then we are going to show the output on port b and if it is less than greater than 100 then we are going to show the output on port d so we am i am going to declare the port c as an input and port b and port d as an output that's why i am declaring them as 0x ff and i am going to unsend character temporarily to store the value of input then i am going to take the input from pin c to and store it in the temporary variable then i am going to use the if else conditions if temporary variable whether the input is less than 100 then the input which is stored on the temporary variable will show on the port b otherwise else it will show on the port d if it is greater than 100 and this is our example 711 In the next example, run the following on your simulator and examine the results. DDRB, where I am going to declare the port B as an output, port C as an output, port D as an output. Then I am going to add two values on the port B 0x35 and with the 0x0f. The answer of this operation will appear on the port B. And similarly, the ORing of two this number 0x04 or with the 0x68 will appear on the port C and similarly the XOR operation of these two numbers will appear on the port D and then I am going to toggle the port B with 0x55 toggling inverting and this is our example 712 in example 713 write an AVRC program to toggle only 4 bit of port B continuously without disturbing the rest of the pins of port B means all the LEDs are on now I am going to toggle only the 4 bit of port B without disturbing the other 4 bits so I am declaring the port B as an output then I am going to port B equals to port B set values with 0, 0, 001 Zero, zero, zero. only the fifth bit of port b is high then and with the this number one 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 zero one 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 then i'm going to clear the only fifth bit of port b because i am going to toggle the bit four that's why i am changing only this bit this is our example 713 and this next example 714 write an AVRC program to monitor bit 5 for port C if it is high send 55 hex value to port B otherwise send AA hex values to port B so in this example I am going to check the bit 5 of port C so I am declaring the port C as an input port B as an output because I am going to show the port B on output so I am going to use the if condition on port C when the input is given to port c then we will check if pin c and with the 001000 here i am ending with the bit 5 high all other are 0 if the input on pin c is high with bit 5 then and with give the 1 and we will send the 55 hex value to port b else the 0x AA value on port B this is our example 714 in example 715 a door sensor is connected to bit 1 of port B and an LED is connected to bit 7 of port C let an AVRC program to monitor door sensor when it opens turn on the LED so here I am going to check the sensor and when the sensor will be on then we have to turn on the LEDs and our LED is connected to bit 7 of port C and sensor is connected with the bit 1 of port B so I am going to declare the DDRB equals to DDRB and with the 11101 pin 1 of port B is input which is 0 here shown and similarly DDRC which is 7th bit is 
connected with the LED so that's why the seventh bit is high all other are zero of pin C then I'm going to check the condition if pin B and with the 00010 is correct then port C equals to port C in the set bit 7 of port C high else port C 0 if the pin B and with the 000010 gives the low so LED will not turn on else in else condition this is our example 715 in example 716 the data pins of an LCD are connected to port B the information is slashed into the LCD whenever it's enabled pin goes from high to low the enable pin is connected to pin 5 of port C write a C program to send the earth is but one country to this LCD so in this example we have an LCD which is connected to port B and our enable function is high to low so we are going to display the the earth is but one country string in the LCD so for this we have to use the array which is message the earth is but one country and answer character Z then I'm going to port B as an output declaring that's why I'm going to ddrb equals to 0x ff port B is output and ddrc which is all with the 00100 because the enable pin is connected to pin 5 of port C that's why I am going to give the high value of pin 5 of port C all other are 0 after that I am going to use the for loop port B equals to message into Z means the array with the Z value and every time the Z increments our array elements are getting on port B after that I am going to port C or with the 00100 pen LCD enabled of port B is 1 because we are going to enable the LED so that's why I am going to port C or with this otherwise when I am going to disable the LED then I am going to port C equals to port C and with the 110111 now this time the pin 5 of port C is 0 because now I am going to disable the LED that's why I have given this and operation with this and after that our function ends and this will so on next example is example 717 in which write an area C program to read pins 1 and 0 of port B and issue an ASCII character to port D according to the following table so in this example we are going to read the 0 and 1 pin of port B and depend on these values whether which is present on the 0 pin and 1 pin of port B we are going to show the ASCII character on port D if the pin 0 and pin 1 is 0 0 then we have to send 0 on port D ASCII character of 0 and if the pin 0 is 1 pin 1 is 0 then we have to send the 1 ASCII character of this value and if 1 0 then we have to give the ASCII character of 2 and both pins are pin 0 and pin 1 is 1 1 then we have to send the 3 on port D for this we have to declare as unsigned character Z and we are to going to read the pin B so I am going to use this as an input and port B is using this as an output that's why DDRD equal to 0x FF after that we have the while loop in which we have given the input to pin B and then we are going to check the values of 0 and 1 bin of pin B that's why I am going to z equals to z and with the 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. then I am going to check the switch condition on the z if z case 0 then port D will be 0 the ASCII value of 0 will be shown on the port D break case 1 if the case 1 will appear then we am going to discuss the ASCII value of 1 on port D break case 2 port D equals to 2 and similarly case 3 port D equals to 3 ASCII value and break the break functions break 
if any of these case will appear so we don't need to check other cases that's why I'm going to use the break command this is our example 717 in the next example write an AVRC program to multi bit 7 of port B if it is 1 make bit 4 of port B input otherwise change pin 4 of port B to output so I am going to check the pin bit 7 of port B so port B is connected with the DDRB equals to DDRB 0B 111 I am going to give the bit 7 of port B as 0 all other are 1 because I have to check the bit 7 so if pin b and with the 1000 equals to ddrb equals to ddrb and with the triple one zero one 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 so I'm going to check the bit 4 of port b as an input else if this condition false then else condition will run which is ddrb equals to ddrb or with the 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. bit 4 of port b is output this is our example 718 in example 719 write an avrc program to get the status of bit 5 of port b and send to bit 7 of port c continuously means we am i'm going to check the bit 5 of port b and send it to bit 7 of port c so I am going to DDRB equals to DDRB and with the 110111. 0 is present on the bit 5, all other are 1 because I am going to check the bit 5 only. Then DDRC, which is an output, this is all with the 1000. Only the bit 7, I am going to show the output on bit 7, of course, that's why I am giving 1 to bit 7 and all other are 0. Then I am going to use the if condition if pin b and with the 00100 is true then port c will become port c or with the 1000 the 7 bit of port c will give us the output which is 1 else if this condition is false as condition will then which is port c and with the 0111 then i am going to give the port c 7 bit to 0 In example 720, write an AVRC program to toggle all the pins of port B continuously using the inverting operator and using the XOR operator. So, when previously in, in previous examples, I have toggled the pins of any port by using the inverting operator. But in this example, we are given two conditions using the inverting operation and using the XOR operation. So, the inverting operation is simple as previous, we have given in part a you see that we have only declared the port b as an output then giving the value of port b 0 x a a and then toggle the port b simple this is and in the port b we have to use the xor operation that's why you see i have the declare the port b as an output then port b 0 x a a and simply the previous port b is or with the z xor with the 0 x f f you know that XOR operations will give us the when same both are same one one then it will give us zero and when zero zero it will give us zero and when both pins are changed means one zero or zero one it will give us one so we can also toggle the pins of any port by using the XOR operation this is our example 720 In example 721, using bitwise compound assignment operators, read at example 718 and 719. So we have to read at the example 17 and 19 now by using the bitwise compound assignments. In DDRB and with the DDRB 1101111. Here I have set the bit 5 of port B as an input. Then after that I have used the if conditions if pin b is and with the 0011 give us the true one then our ddrb is 
will show us 1110111. The bit 4 of port B is, will be used as an input. But if this if condition is false, then our port B bit 4 will be used as an output. In the part B, I have declared the DTRB as 110111. The bit 5 of port B is declaring as an input and the bit 7 of port C is declared as an output that's why I have given the DDRC or with the 1000 and 0 then I have give, used the if conditions if pin B and with the 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 and 0 if this condition is true then I am going to use the bit 7 of port C to high if this condition is false then I am going to set the bit 7 of port C low 0 so this is our example 721 our example 722 is write code to generate the following numbers a number that has only a 1 in position d7 in position d2 d4 and d5 similarly now I am going to use the shift operators shift left and shift right 1 less than left than 7 means I am going to shift the 1 on 7th bit and similarly 1 less than less than 2 here means I am going to shift 1 on the 2nd bit and negation sign means that I am going to shift 0 on the bit 5 now example 7.23 Write an AVRC program to monitor 7 bit 7 of port B if it is 1. Make bit 4 of port B as an input, otherwise, make bit 4 of port B as an output. So, I am going to use the DDRB and with the 1 7. This sign means that I am going to set the 7th bit of port B to 0 and then end with the DDRB and then if conditions if pin b and with the this means seventh bit is one true then i'm going to use the bit four of port b as an input otherwise else condition port b pin four of port b will be used as an output in example 724 Write an AVRC program to get the status of bit 5 of port B and set it to bit 7 of port C. Now I am going to check the bit 5 of port B and whatever is present on bit 5 of port B, we have to send it on bit 7 of port C. So we are going to use the DDRB and with the 0th bit of port B. So I am declaring it is an input and then the seventh bit of port c i am declaring as an output after that i am going to check the condition if pin b and with the bit 5 only one then the bit 7 then the send the value of port c on the bit 7 to 1 otherwise else condition then set the bit 7 of port c to 0 you see that we are repeating the same examples but with different syntax first i have used the different commands to initialize the values of ports then i am using the same example but with different syntax now i am going to now i have used the shift operators to represent the values in example 725 you see that the same example door sensor LED is here but with the different syntax now we are going to use the same example but different technique now I am going to I have defined the LED 7 and sensor 1 in main function I have declared the DDRB and with the 1 sensor means 0 I am going to set the sensor on pen as an input and I have used the LED on port C as an output. 
then I'm going to use the check the condition if sensor is on then port C will give us the output high otherwise else port C will give us the low output in example 726 you see that let an AVRC program to convert packed BCD 0x29 to XC and display the bytes on port B and port C now I am going to convert the 0x29 to their ASCII value for this I have used the unsigned character X and Y and then the my byte which is declared as an 0x29 then I have declared the port B and C as an output then I have multiplied the my byte number with the 0x0f and store it in the X and then I have use the port B as an output X or with the 0x30 means whatever the present on the X now it will convert into their ASCII characters and then I have multiplied the Y with the my byte 0x F0 and then I am going to shift it to lower character means y equals to y greater than greater than 4 this line will shift it to 4 bits lower and then at the end I am going to show the value of y on port c and there ASCII character for that I have used the y or with the 0x30 whatever the present on the y will now convert into their ASCII and show us on the port c In example 727 you see that we have written ABRC program to convert ASCII digits of 4 and 7 to pack BCD and display them on port B similarly we have convert this BCD 4 and 7 to their ASCII and show them on the port B for this I have used the unsigned character BCD byte and then two values character 4 and 7 which is stored in the W and Z and after that I am going to use the port B as an output that's why I have declared the DDRB 0xff after that I have multiplied W equals to W with the 0x0f and then to send it to into their ASCII value I have used W less than less than 4 shift left to 4 bit and after that I have the z equal to 0 x 0 x f and after that we have bcd by 2 w or with the z and and the final now I am going to show the output on the port b this is for example 727 in example 728 assume that we have 4 bytes of hexadecimal decimal data which are 25, 62, 3f and 52 hex find the checksum byte perform the checksum operation to ensure data integrity and if the second byte 62 hexa has been changed to 22 hexa show how checksum detects the error for the sum we have to sum all the values 25, 62, 3f and 52 hexa you see that we have the answer 18 hexa with the carry one so after that carrying the drop the carry of one and taking a two's axis two's complement we get the answer e8 and h for this we have used the checksum byte now we are going to use checksum operation for this i have used the 25 62 3 f 52 with the answer which is previous E8 and H. Now you see that our answer is 00, zero which means that our answer is correct and check some operation is proof. Now if we are going to change the 62 with the 22, now we are going to show the checksum detects. Now you see that we have the 22 hexa value instead of 62 and check which is e at h now our answer is not 0 but is c0 hexa so 
see that we are not getting the zero so it is corrupted because now our value is not checksum detects error in example 729 we have an data in area c program to calculate the checksum byte for the data given in the example 728 for this i am going to declare the array my data which in which elements are 0x25 0x62 0x3f and 0x52 and after that i am declaring the unsigned character sum and i am giving the value of 0 in this and after that i have declared the two unsigned characters which are x and check sum byte and after that i am declaring the ports a b and c as an output that's why i am giving the ddr a b and c 0x ff value after that i am going to use the for loop from 0 to less than 4 because we have the four elements in my array that's why i am going to use the for loop from 0 to less than 4 means 0 1 2 and 3 after that our for loop will end and after that i am going to show the value on port a which is my data x and now means i am going to show the my array on the port a one by one and after that i am going to sum the values of my array that's why i use the command sum equal to sum plus my data whatever the present on the array is going to sum one by one together and finally the sum of all the array elements will show on the port b and after that we have to check sum operation that's why i am going to check some byte negation sum plus one now i am going to choose complement of sum with invert one and some at the end i am going to show the check some byte value on the port c this is our example 729 our example 730 is write a c program to perform step b of example 728 if the data is good, send ASCII character G to port D, otherwise send B to port D. So, we have to repeat the same example, but we, now the additional operation is we have to send the ASCII character of G to port D. And if the data is not good, then send the value of character G on port D. Similarly, I have used the my array in which the elements are 0x25, 0x62, 0x3, 52 and E8. The unsigned characters check sum and x. Similarly, I am going to declare the port D as an output. Similarly, follow from 0 to less than 5. Now we have the 5 elements in array. That's why I am going to use the for loop up to less than 5 with increment of 1. After that, I have implement check sum command which is checksum equal to checksum plus my data and every element of array one by one if checksum is zero then we have to send the value of ask then i have to send the ascii value of g on port d else if this condition is not true then i have to send the ascii value of character b on port d this is our example 730 example 731 write an ABRC program to convert 11101 to decimal and display digits on port B port C and port D I am going to display convert this binary number into their decimal number and show it on three different ports for this I have used the unsigned character X bin by D1 D2 and D3 and after that i have declared the port b port c and port d as an output then i am going to store my value which is 11101 on any character which is bin byte and after that i have divided my number zxfd with 10 whatever the remainder is take modulus with 10 and then d2x modulus of 10 middle digits and and then after that port d3 to find the most significant digit 
I have x divided by 10 and then these values d1 d2 and d3 will show on the port B means remainder least significant bit will show on the port B middle digit will be shown on the port C and the most significant bigger bit will be shown on the port D this is our example 731 In example 732, write in ABRC program to send out the value 44 hexa serially, serially one bit at a time via port C, pin 3. The least significant bit should go first. Means we have to send the value 44 hexa through pin 3 of port C one by one. Serially means we have to send the values one by one and show us on the output. For this, I have declared my number in any variable 0x44. Then I have declared the two unsigned characters register ALSB and X. Then I am going to just save the value of con byte which is 0x44 in my variable register ALSB. Then I have used this operation DDRC1 Lennon serial pin means i am going to set the pin 3 of port c as an output then i am use the for loop from 0 to less than 8 with increment of 1 1 then if condition if and with the register ars piece 0x01 0 0 then port c will be high otherwise it will be 0 this is our example. Now we have the example 734 in which we have the write an AVRC program to bring in a byte of data serially one bit at a time via port C pin 3. The least significant should come in first. So for this we am going to declare the unsigned characters X register A whose value is 0 and then I am going to use the DDRC1 serial pin. So I am going to give the pin 3 of DDRC 0 because I am going to use it as an input. After that I am going to use the for loop from 0 to less than 8 with increment of 1. So repeat for each bit of register A. And after that I have the register A equals to register A greater than greater 1. Means I am going to shift the register A to write 1 bit. And after that I have the register A or with the pin C and one less than less than serial pin less than less than 7 serial pin means copy serial pin bit of port C to most significant of register A because in our question the least significant bit should come in first that's why we are going to use that function so this is our example 734 in example 735 all the question is same but now the most significant bit should come in first so all the other commands will remain same in the for loop you see that we have the register a no less than less than one means we have to shift it left one bit and after that we have the pin c and with the one less than and then greater than greater than c and p now i'm going to copy bit c and pin of port c to least significant because now in our question the most significant bit should come in first so this is example 735 and finally we have the last example of our chapter 7 last two examples which are write an AVRC program to store G into location 005 of electronic erasable programmable ROM so I am going to store the value of G into the location 0005 so for this we have the while condition EECR and one less than another EEW. So wait for last write to finish. And after that we have given the value of EA or to 0x5f which is register address. I am going to store the value of register address on any variable. And after that I am going to show the value of EEDR equals to G. So write g in data register and after that write 1 to eemwe which is eecr all with the one lesson lesson em and finally we have the eecr 
or with even less than EEWA start from EE from right so this is for example 736 now in example 37 we have to read the content which is present at the location 0 x 0 5 in the electronic erasable prompt in the previous example we have given the value into this location but now in this example we have to read the content which is present in this location so for this we am going to use the port b as an output because i have to read the value and show it on the port b and after that i have used the while condition wait for last type to finish and after that uh, store the value of register write ear and after that i have eecr or with the one lesson as an ear ERA. means we have to start from electronic erasable programmable from and read what is writing here so this is example 730 so with this example the examples of java chapter, chapter 7 comes to an end now i'm going to start the examples of chapter 9 avr microcontroller so this for example find the value of tcr0 if we want to present time as zero in normal mode no plus scalar use avr custom calculator for the clocks so for this we have the simple tccr equals to 0001 only the cs00 is 1 all other will be 0 in example 722 we have given the different fre frequencies and mm. we have to use the time period for each frequency frequency in a power frequency is 10 megahertz time period is simply the reciprocal of frequency so we have t equals to 1 over f which means 1 over 10 megahertz and our time period will be 0.1 microsecond and similarly in power b we have the 8 megahertz so 1 over 8 megahertz equal to 0.125 microsecond and similarly in power c we have the 1 megahertz so 1 over 1 megahertz equal to 1 microsecond this is our time periods for the following frequencies now we have the example 939 i am skipping all the previous examples because we are focusing on the c language and all the previous examples are in assembly language that's why i have skipped these examples now our first example of chapter 9 is 39 which is in c language now i'm going to discuss this which is write a c program to toggle all the bits of port b continuously with some delay use timer zero normal mode and no plus color operations to generate the delay so we have simply toggle the bits of port b so that's why i'm going to declare the port b as an output then giving the value of 0x55 to port b and then use the to delay function and the function is written below and then port b to 0x aa toggle the bits and then again the delay function now in delay function you see that we have the we have created the function void delay to delay and in this we have used the timer tc and t0 equals to 0x20 load the value on tc and t0 which is 0x20 and then tccr0 i am going to load the value 0x01 means i am going to use the timer 0 normal mode and no press scalar operations and then we have the while condition tfr and with the 0x01 if it is 0 wait until this condition is true and then move to the tccr0 equals to 0 and tfr equals to 0x1 means now i'm going to clear the value which is present on the tfr this is our example 939 in example 940 write a c program to toggle only the port b 4 bit continuously every 70 microsecond use timer 0 normal mode and 1 ratio 8 plus scalar to create the delay assume the external frequency crystal frequency is 8 megahertz so first of all we have to calculate the machine cycle time period of machine cycle so which is 1 over 8 megahertz and the 1 ratio 8 equals to 3 clock equals to 8 into 1 over 8 megahertz which means the time period for clock is 1 microsecond and similarly now i am going to cycle create calculate the cycles 70 microsecond by 1 microsecond equal to 70 clocks and for each 1 plus 0 x ff minus 70 means we am, i'm going to use the total 186 cycles 
all the calculation is shown here and after that we have the C code in which you have see that we have created the function to delay with white data type and in the main function I am declaring the port B as an output so that's why I am going to use the DDR B equal to 0x FF and after that I have toggle use the delay function and then toggle the port B using the XOR operation only the port B bit for toggling after that we have the function to delay in which you see that I have given the TCNT0 value 186 load in the TCNT0 and after that I have the timer 0 number and 100 plus color mode that's why I am using the TCCR0 equal to 0x02 and then in the while condition we have to wait here until this condition is true the if this condition is true then we move forward and which is turn off the timer and clear the TOV that's why I have given the TAFR equals to 0x1 to clear this otherwise it will not clear next example is also same as the previous example but you in this we have the time of two time delay of two milliseconds and crystal frequency same as eight megahertz for this i am going to use the total cycles which is 0x c180 and after that i have toggle the board b only bit for save and calling the delay function now in this time you see that i have create the delay function in the delay function i have given the tcnt 1h equals to 0x61 temporary variable i have used save this value in the temporary variable and then the tcnt 1l 0x80 given this value and then tccr 1a i have given this value 0 0 to function in this normal mode and then r1b to 0 1 to normal mode and to press scalar mode and then we have to wait for the white loop until this condition is true so wait for to roll over when this condition is true then we will move forward which is we have to clear the r1b0 and tov1 clear so that's why i'm going to tfr 0x f1 and after that we have the c version of example 932 because the previous Nine example and that is in assembly language now I have written the same example in the C language which is write a C program to toggle only the port B bit for continuously every second use timer normal mode and one ratio to press color to create that delay assume the crystal frequency is 8 megahertz similarly I have calculated the machine cycle the procedure is same only the values are different now in the main function I have toggled the port B only bit 4 same as done previous only the delay function is changed because now we have the 1 ratio 256 press scalar mode so the small changes will appear here in the TCC in anti and now we are going to dis store the value of 0x85 which is our total cycles calculated above now in the TC nt one l I am going to store the 0xEE after that I am declaring the TCCR1A0 to normal board and TCCR1B to 001 in normal board and in 1 ratio 256 press scalar mode and after that we have the rollover condition which is while to wait here until this condition is true and after that we have to clear the R1B and clear TOV1 that's why I am giving this 0 finally we have the last example of chapter 9 aware microcontroller which is the c version of example 937 in this we have assumed that a 1 hertz external clock is being fed into pit t1 write a c program for counter 1 in rising edge mode to count the pulses and display the tcn 1h and tcn t1 l registers on port d and port c so for this in main function i am using the port b 0 x 0 1 to activate the pull up of PB0 and the declaring the DRC 0x FF output and port D as an output also and after that we have used the TCR 1A 0x00 output clock source and R1B 0x06 output clock source also and after that I am 
setting the value of tc and t1h 0 and 1l 0 so to count from 0 and after that we have the while condition so we can repeat this forever so we have do condition do while loop and do we have the port c which is the tc and t1l so tc and t1 value will appear on the port c and tc and t1h will appear on the port d place value on pins we means we have to show the value of tc and t1h and 1l on port c and port d and after that we have the while condition if this condition is true we will move forward otherwise we will wait here and after that we have declared the value of tov1 so i'm declaring this as 0x1 similarly the block diagram is shown here for this example so with this example our chapter 9 also and so this is our chapter 7 and chapter examples have a microcontroller examples in c language 732